This video covers footnotes and endnotes, um, not to be confused with citations. From what I can understand, uh, you would use citations if you're if you're wanting to later create a bibliography. So if you're writing a research paper and you want to let people know exactly where you got the information from, a citation is probably best. Uh, a, a footnote and an endnote is is more for uh, just to support, just to give added information, some background, so that when people are reading, they're they don't really want you to prove. They're just wondering, oh, where did they get the information from? So it kind of backs up what it is you're saying. Um, a footnote is at the bottom of the page um, where you got the information. Uh, yeah, so you would insert a footnote, and it, it would the backup information would be on the bottom of that page. Uh, an endnote it would end up at the end of the document. And again, it depends on the purpose. It depends. Uh, maybe somebody's requiring footnotes and endnotes, or maybe you're just doing it for yourself. Uh, if you want people to have immediate knowledge as to where you got the information, a footnote is best because it's right there at the bottom of the page. Uh, but if you feel people are just going to be uh, checking out where you, your sources are from, etc., then you could put it at the end. So I'm going to just get started with some examples here. Got a long document. Typically, um, endnotes and footnotes are used for multi-page documents, but they don't need to be really. So if you've if you've quoted something or you want people to know where you've got the information from, all right, so here's a perfect example. So I'm going to start with an insert footnote. So you just simply put your insertion point where you want it to be and you hit insert footnote. Now I'm going to scroll back up to the top. It inserts a little tiny little number one there and it creates a section at the bottom of your page with a line and here it's ready for you to type. So here you can reference where you got the information from. And now you're ready for another one. So you would scroll to the next part of your document where you'd want to put something. Now there isn't anything on this page. So when you're ready for the next one, you can come to the next one. So here I can go here and I can go insert another footnote and here I can type the information I want. And then you would just keep going. Now I wanna, I'm just making stuff up. I don't know that these really go to who I'm giving them credit for. I want two on one page though, so here we go. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go references once again, and we're gonna try an endnote instead. So go insert endnote, and I'm just gonna type real, make this quick another book. Of course, I never use that in the real world, and now I'm gonna go back to where I was. So that was an endnote, so it went to the very end of the document. So it was right here. And I can insert, oh, sorry, it's references. And I can put a footnote here, uh, another book. And then if I had another one here, I can insert another one here. And now it's giving me two in the same page here. I know it's hard to see, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So you can see that I'm at footnote three and footnote four. All right, so I've got some footnotes and I've got some endnotes. And that's how you insert them. Uh, just want to show you that you've got the ability to change stuff. All right, so uh, I'm going to go to the menu right here. All right, so you have the option to ask for, uh, if you're working with your footnotes, you can say, I don't want them at the bottom of the page. I want them just below the text. Uh, it's a very subtle little difference. I've never had a reason to, to change that, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, I'm going to hit cancel here and uh, maybe scroll down to the end note here and then come back here and now i have the ability to manipulate the end note same choice right oh sorry different choice uh, an end note can go at the end of the document or it can go at the end of a section and uh, if you do if you have chapters then you're going to have sections most likely so those are your two choices for end notes good um, next choice you have is the format so for uh, end notes right now we're getting Roman numerals. If you don't like that choice, you can choose it to let, let's say bigger Roman numerals or different things and where it is you want to start. And the numbering 
You can have it restart at each section or it can be continuous. So these choices, it's very important you know these choices because it's possible that they'll ask you to change these things uh, on the test, right? And then apply to the whole document or that's it. All right, so now if I hit apply, I've now changed the format of the number uh, for my endnotes. And if I want to do the same thing for the footnotes, I can go back up and find a footnote. And so I'm just scrolling up and looking for a footnote and I'm clicking inside any, any part of it, going back to this menu. Now it knows that I want to work with footnotes. And my only choice is there, bottom of the page or below text. And um, here, I can change the number format here as well. I can go to letters. Uh, I can start at A or somewhere else. Again, it can be continuous or I can restart each page or each section. So if I say each page now, this will be one and two. All right, and I can say apply to whole document and I can hit apply. All right, so now this is A and B and there's another A somewhere else because it's the first one on that page. So that's, those are your choices in there. Quite a few, quite a few to choose from. Now, they, they want you to know that I can convert. If I decided that, you know what, I've only got one end note and I probably should convert it to a footnote because it's not that big a deal. So you can actually right click on this and convert it to a footnote if you wanted to. I'm not gonna do that, but you need to know that you can do that. And the same goes with the footnotes. If you decided you want to convert all of them to endnotes, or just any one of them, sorry, to an endnote, you can find the one you want to convert, and you can say, convert that to an endnote, all right? So by right-clicking, you can convert one at a time. If you want to convert them all, you would come back to this menu, And from this menu, you've got convert here. So I, I'm in the, a footnote and I can go to convert. And I can say convert all footnotes to endnotes or convert all endnotes to footnotes or swap them. I've never actually had the occasion to use these things. However, they want you to know on the test. So be aware of the, this feature, all right? So you can convert one at a time by right clicking or you can convert them all by coming to this menu and hitting that little convert button and you have those options. Uh, last thing, if you, if you, for some reason, if you wanna change, if you wanna change the formatting of these things, all right, you can, you can select them and change, right? And then if you wanna change others, you can F4, whatever, all right? So, but you can manually change these if you want to. Uh, the other thing is if you wanna delete these, I've had issues with this in the past. Do not delete from here, all right? That doesn't really work. If you want to delete footnotes or endnotes, delete them from here, all right? So you delete the reference mark. So deleting that has now deleted that, all right? And then you find the other one. If you wanted to delete it, you would select that and delete it, and that is how you delete them. Very important that you know that as well. So those are the things you need to know for footnotes and